go to help them with the stuff that, that they need. It's just going to be for food, for clothes, for things they need, or little things that they need to buy. I just want to bless them. Um, we want to be a part of helping them anyway, but I want you to be a part of that. Um, and, and if you can give today, that's great. If you can't, that's that's fine. I just, it's important that we invest, and I, I really want to just give you an opportunity to do that. Um, I, I love this couple. I love this family, and. Um, We've helped several families that have, we've got another family here that experienced a fire the first of the year uh, that, that we're able to bless. Brother and Sister Wiggins, they, they understand the need there and the, the fear. Many of you have, have had house fires and different things that you understand everything goes with that. So uh, I want to bless them this morning. Guys, if you'll just, you'll just move that direction, just begin to take up that offering. We bless it in Jesus' name. Everybody said amen. Amen. they're continuing to do that. If you have your Bible with you this morning, turn to Matthew chapter 7. I got a message today that I want to bring to you. We give Brother Jeff and our worship team a hand real quick for leading us into worship. As a pastor, there are a lot of times that I preach messages uh, and I study and God speaks to me and I I preach a message knowing that uh, all of you need to hear it. Amen. Amen. And then there's those messages that I'm when I'm studying, uh, and then I, those messages that I preach that I need to hear. That the whole time I'm preparing it, and the whole time that I'm I'm studying it, it's just God convicting me and really bringing some things to light in my own life. And uh, since I was convicted by it, and I know that I need it, I figured you needed this too. Amen. So I'm going to give to you this week what I've been studying about, and I want to encourage you. Uh, really, something that. Really, my whole life I've been fearful of and, and that it really should drive all of us to have a deeper walk with God. And then Jesus is preaching here in Matthew chapter 7, and this is known as the Sermon on the Mount, where he begins with the Beatitudes. And he's basically giving us here in chapters 5, 6, and 7, he's giving us, and if you've been on Wednesday nights, you've heard us teach on this, he's giving us basically a blueprint of what it is to be a Christian, what it is to truly be a follower of Christ. And if you've been here, we've been discussing on if we're going to be a follower of Christ or if we're just going to be a fan, if we're just going to be one of those people that's just loud and obnoxious and think we know everything, but when it comes down to it, we just, we bail. We can't, we can't stick with the team through thick and thin. We're just for whoever's hot. Listen, being a follower of Christ, you've got to be committed to God every single day of your life for the rest of your life. Somebody say amen. So we find here Jesus giving the blueprint, giving instructions on how to love people and how to forgive people and and, and just different addressing different areas uh, of the law and the way people are living for God. And so Jesus gives a few uh, principles here and a few commands and and, and really some promises here and instruction uh, about following in him and how difficult it's going to be and and how easy it's going to be to really fall away from what you think is of God and what's not of God. So we find here in Matthew chapter 7, we're going to read verses 13 and 14. This is Jesus talking here. This is after he has dealt with, in chapter 7, dealt with judging others. Somebody say amen. That's the biggest thing that when you begin to turn your life around and you begin to witness to people, that's the biggest thing you'll face. Don't judge me. You're not supposed to judge me. Only God can judge me. Well, you better be careful. You might want me judging you instead of God. Sometimes people, they've, they've got in their mind that God's going to be easier on them. You might want to stick with me, but God's going to judge you, so, but that's the biggest thing. And, and, and Jesus talks about judging others, and it goes on to, to talk about the, the access that you have to him. And in, in verses 7, it, he says, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find it. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks, the door will be open. We talked about it Wednesday night. Anyone is you and me. Anyone who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. It's not not, uh, distinguished. It's not limited to 
where you live or what language you speak or what color your skin is, anyone who calls on the name of the Lord. And Jesus gives the instruction, if you ask, I will answer. If you seek me, you will find me. If you knock, the door will be opened for you. So we have that access. But then he moves into, in verse 13, with this promise. Narrow, enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction. And many, everybody say many. Many enter through it. But small is the gate 